السلام علیکم کلاس فورتھ ایئر مارننگ فورتھ ایئر ایوننگ اگین آئی ایم ہیر آف شاہ ہو از ہیئر ٹو گیو یو سیکنڈ کلینیکل فارمیسی لیب لیکچر فارم سکس زیرو فائیو ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس دا نیو ٹاپک دیٹ از اسینشیل کمپوننٹس آف فارماسیوٹیکل کیئر آئی ول ٹیل یو اباؤٹ دا Uh, detailed procedure uh, that how to give uh, the pharmaceutical care to the patient and why it is necessary to give this type of care to the patient so uh, I am starting with the definition of the pharmaceutical care uh, what is uh, pharmaceutical care basically it is a patient centered practice in which the pharmacist is responsible to give uh, the uh, patient care in order to minimize the drug related problems or it is uh, oriented for the patient drug related needs uh, so in pharmaceutical care the clinical pharmacist cooperates with the patient as well as other healthcare providers in designing, implementing and monitoring a therapeutic plan that will produce the specific therapeutic outcomes for the patient. Uh, in this type of care, the uh, pharmacist is responsible to design the therapeutic plan, then he will be responsible to implement it to the patient and then uh, he will monitor that therapeutic plan that patient compliance is there or not uh, so by this the uh, by doing this the pharmacist or the clinical pharmacist uh, will minimize the drug related problems and will uh, provide the optimum patient care to the patients uh, and to do this the pharmacist is busy in drug monitoring in disease monitoring Uh, drug therapy and disease management what is the role of the pharmaceutical care uh, the role of the pharmaceutical care is uh, to uh, emphasize on the prevention of the drug related problems so uh, what are the basic essential components of the pharmaceutical care number one is the pharmacist patient relationship Uh, this uh, relationship with the patient uh, should be uh, a caring relationship and uh, uh, but not and it should uh, this a clinical pharmacist should have a caring relationship with the patient but not with with the chart or the drug profile or the drug prescription Uh, he should show empathy to the patient and should build a caring relationship with the patient to provide a, a good patient care and the other component of the uh, pharmaceutical care is the PWDT what is PWDT? PWDT is pharmacist workup of the drug therapy uh, basically it is a, a long form or uh, chart in which you collect the data of the patient and then you uh, design a therapeutic plan for the patient and then you uh, look for the pharmaceutical or the drug related problems uh, in that chart and then you formulate a soap note or the farm note uh, to uh, document the patient care اچھا اب اس میں جو کمپوننٹس ہیں نمبر ون از ڈیٹا کلیکشن دا فارماسسٹ ورک اپ آف دا ڈرگ تھراپی انکلوڈس نمبر ون از دا ڈیٹا کلیکشن آئی ول ڈسکس ان فردر ڈیٹیل آفٹر دس لائف اینڈ نمبر ٹو از ڈیولپ اور آئیڈینٹیفائی دا کور فارماکو تھراپی پلان واٹ از دس کور فارماکو تھراپی پلان آئی ول ٹیل یو ان مائی لیٹر سلائڈس and identify the prime pharmacotherapy problems and then formulate a farm note or SOAP progress note 
Number one component of the pharmacist workup of the drug therapy or PWDD is data collection. What is data collection? Uh, data collection is to collect, then synthesize, and then interpret the relevant information which is required to you to document the uh, patient profile. And uh, it includes the patient demographic data. <coughs> Sorry patient demographic data which includes the age, race, sex and the patient medical information and which includes the current and the past medical history, uh, past medication history or current medication history or any disease history uh, and the family history if uh, he or she uh, has some family history of diabetes or hypertension or not and the other diseases and the social history if uh, he or she uh, is used to mingle with the society or not and the dietary history what he takes in the food uh, these information should be written in the section of the data collection We also have to collect the medication history uh, which uh, drugs he or she is taking uh, including the prescription drugs, OTC drugs or the any type of uh, drug which can be used for the abuse or if he or she has some medication allergy or not. Okay, And the other part is the physical findings. Uh, we have to uh, write the patient's weight, patient's height, patient's blood pressure, if he or she has edema or not. And the laboratory test results, which in, uh, includes the serum drug levels, potassium levels, serum creatinine should be checked to uh, check the function of the kidney uh, or any other information which is relevant to the drug therapy. Uh, and these all information should be uh, written in the data collection section of the PWDD and uh, we must have to uh, write the patient complaints what are the symptoms he or she is having uh, what are the signs sign and symptoms Now the uh, second part of the PWDD is develop or identify the core pharmacotherapy plan. What is core pharmacotherapy? Core is basically the, uh, comes from the uh, different terms. Uh, we must have to develop a pharmacotherapy plan which is based on the C stands for condition of the patient or patient need. O is the outcomes desired for that patient. Uh, and these are, there are two types of patient out, uh, sorry, outcomes. Number one, uh, patient outcome. Number two is the therapeutic endpoint. Patient outcomes uh, is based on the patient oriented evidence that matters. Generally, there are five categories of patient outcomes and uh, it includes the mortality which is related to death of the patient uh, the morbidity which is related to the disease or which is related to the medication and the behavior of the patient the economic outcomes and the quality of life these are the patient outcomes that the uh, either the drug which we are going to uh, give him in the pharmacotherapy plan is uh, uh, fit uh, for his uh, for this patient or not uh, or and uh, we should consider the mortality uh, rate we should consider the morbidity related to that drug uh, to that patient uh, we should consider the behavior of the patient uh, either he or she will take it or not or he or she will accept it or not economic outcome uh, that this drug uh, is affordable to that patient or not uh, it should not be too expensive 
that he cannot uh, purchase it from the market so this will decrease the patient compliance and the quality of life uh, the plan should be uh, like that it will improve the quality of life of that patient and uh, basically the uh, the patient oriented evidence that matters will provide us the information that will matter to the patient that is example is will they die will will they live or will they feel sick after the therapeutic plan or after the therapy or not will they they have pain or not will they have will they be able to do what they want to do so these are the uh, outcomes which should be considered to develop the pharmacotherapy uh, for any patient to provide the pharmaceutical care Achha, the second one is uh, the therapeutic endpoint therapeutic endpoint is based on the disease oriented evidences uh, therapeutic endpoint is the expected therapeutic effect of the drug to achieve the desired outcome Uh, example is uh, both the near normal glycemic control and normalization of blood pressure are necessary to significantly reduce the risk of the end stage renal disease in case of the end stage renal disease we must have to uh, get the normal glycemic control or we must have to normalize the blood pressure so these uh, are the disease uh, oriented evidences and uh, these are our therapeutic endpoints to reduce the risk of the end stage renal disease in our example and then third is r r is r stands for regimen selected to achieve that outcome regimen selected to achieve that outcome yeah or we can say that the regimen to achieve the desired outcome number one is the therapeutic regimen uh, which also divided into existing therapy and the initial therapy and the second number one is the therapy okay now uh, we will discuss the existing therapy what is existing therapy we evaluate the current desired drug regimen for its potential to achieve the desired endpoint uh, we will uh, evaluate the current drug regimen uh, and its potential to achieve the desired endpoint which is required to meet the patient individual need the existing therapy is that therapy which the patient is already taking and we will check all the uh, drugs in that therapy and that they will uh, help us to achieve the desired end point or not so uh, then we will revise the regimen as appropriate or as per need what is the initial therapy initial therapy is Uh, in that therapy we will list down the therapeutic options which will most likely to achieve the desired endpoints and then we select the option which will be best suited for the patient's medical physical and psychosocial or mental and financial well-being hope you get my point now the so uh, i am repeating it so before uh, uh planning or developing the pharmacotherapy plan we must have to consider the patient uh, need or his uh, or we have to consider its the patient condition and then we will look for the outcomes that will be desired for that condition number 1 we must have to consider the patient outcomes uh, related to morbidity mortality and financial uh, needs and behavior and quality of life and the therapeutic endpoints uh, that will be uh, evaluated from the disease uh, oriented evidences and uh, 
uh, and the other is the regimen the regimen uh, uh, which will the regimen which will be selected to achieve our desired outcome so for this uh, we must have to uh, set the therapy regimens and based on the existing therapy as well as initial therapy existing therapy is that therapy the uh, uh, that one the patient is already taking and we will check its potential to produce the desired uh, effects uh, to produce the therapeutic effects that will be required for our desired outcome and the, in the initial uh, and we will revise it uh, as appropriate and in the initial therapy we will list down the all the options uh, of the regimen and then uh, we will select the best suited option uh, for that patient uh, number two for the regimen is the goal setting and the behavior regimens the patient should cooperate for the setting or achieving the short term goals or the long term goals and uh, the behavior which uh, also matters is also necessary to achieve those goals uh, the goals uh, would be short term and or uh, it can be long term short term goal, goals means to eliminate the symptoms uh, that is to lower the blood pressure to 130 by uh, 100 mm of hg within 6 weeks or manage the acute asthma without requiring hospitalization and the long term goals are uh, to prevent the recurrence maintain the blood pressure at 130 by 80 mm of hg prevent the cardiovascular complications in that patient so uh, the goal setting must be there and the patient should be cooperative for these settings uh, and the behavior uh, regimens uh, should also uh, be guided to that patient to achieve those goals for example start a new positive action for example start an exercise program it is a positive action which uh, will be initiated by the patient and it will be helpful to achieve the go our goals to get the desired outcome increase the frequency of positive action for example drink two or more glasses of water daily third example is stop or decrease the frequency of destructive action for example stop smoking decrease alcohol intake or continue an exercise for example 30 minutes a day which will be perfect for your health so these are the examples which we must have to guide the patient to uh, to do this and uh, to achieve our goals The E stands for the evaluation parameters to assess the outcome achievement uh, which includes the efficacy parameters and the toxicity parameters. What are the efficacy parameters? Efficacy parameters are evaluated to ensure the therapeutic effect of the drug. Uh, and in these uh, type of parameters which should consider what should be monitored how often it should be monitored by whom uh, it should be monitored to ensure the therapeutic endpoints and what are the toxicity parameters toxicity parameters are uh, evaluated to ensure the adverse effects uh, which can be occurred from the drug the allergic reactions which can be occurred from the, uh, the regimen which we have uh, designed to give the pharmaceutical care and to ensure that the toxicity is not occurring in that patient so these are the uh, parameters which uh, we have to consider before uh, developing the pharmacotherapy plan